Alright guys, welcome back to Reason Gaming TV. My name is Kainite and unfortunately I'm going to be by myself for this match. Um, so just a quick sound check. I know there were a few sound issues uh, in the previous game we casted, so just let me know how does my, you know, volume sound in relation to what's going on in the game. But it looks like we're going to go live, so I've got, I'm all eyes on, on the chat. Let me know if I need to, you know, up my volume a tiny weeny little bit. Hopefully... It'll all be okay. So, guys, Fnatic versus Courage, the Swedes versus the Russians, and they're going to go all in for this knife round. Of course, on a, on a CT sided map like Inferno, the knife round can often be the decider, but let's be fully honest. Fnatic are the favourites for this game. They're the favourites for a reason. But Courage are going to get the first knife kill. And let's see. Oh, hello. JW Best is going to come in. Devil Walk as well. Easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy. And JW with the team kill. So, as expected, Fnatic won the uh, knife round. Let's have a look at what you guys. Just a bit louder, please, right? Like, this is a little bit louder. Some people say in the game sound is high. I've turned my mic up a little bit. Keep me updated in the chat on what you guys you know, want me to do with the mic and all that. Just to make something clear, if I say deco, what a deco means is the team's buying a P250 or a Deagle instead of just sticking with their Glock. And eco, where I come from, means sticking with your Glocks or your USP or P2000. So, before people start saying Desert Eco, it actually stands for Desert Eagle, Desert Eagle Eco. But anyways, let's concentrate on the game. Devil Walk is going to keep peeking Banana. It's uh, not something uncommon. So let's have a look. The T's all on the bottom of Banana, and even with the, the bomb on the back of World Edit, and they're going to slowly creep up towards that B-bomb site where Devil Walk is all by himself. And hello, Devil Walk's going to fall back. That nade's going to go out, and it's going to deal a little bit of damage, and the CTs will begin their rotation. The T's all over this B-bomb site. Uh, there we go, a little strange go TV stuff. The bomb is down, and the T's, they just need to open a welcome mat. Play it nice, cool, calm and collective. Take their time, but JW says he's the best, and he's proving it at the moment with first blood onto Z1. Fnatic have been taking this bomb site with E so far. JW with his second, and simple on World Edit all alone. World Edit last man standing, surely not. He's going to get two, and he's got Devil Walk on low HP, and World Edit with the three versus one clutch. We are in for one heck of a game. It's only the pistol round, but the clutch comes in from the Russian. And, well, the favourites are 1-0 down. So, because obviously the ATs managed to win that pistol round, it means they can afford UMPs, a Galil and a PP Bison. Which, of course, will give them a slightly uh, a, uh, large advantage going into this round. We've got those submachine guns. Let's have a look. Blade and World Edit. Just playing it cool, calm and collective. The bottom of Banana. Devil Walk. Once again, Fnatic opting to go for that one-man setup in the B bomb site. But they're taking it slow. But it looks like they just might dedicate towards this B bomb site. Let's wait and see how it pans out. Devil Walk with that P250. And my word, we know how good he is with that P250. If we can just manage to perhaps catch a glimpse of one of the T's, he might make them pay the price. So the bomb is at Banana. Devil Walk calls to his teammates and his teammates start to rotate. And here we go. Come on, Auto Director. Show us some sexy Counter-Strike. So, they're going all into this bomb site. The smokes are being lobbed out. And JW will bombard the terrorists with that grenade. But unfortunately, it does no damage. Fnatic, they need to rotate back round now. They know they've decided. No, they are going to the bomb site. Schneider decides to go from behind. And the T's, they're holding. They're playing it cool, calm, and collective. And thanks to that clutch in the early round, that's all they have to do. Prizak and uh, S1, all eyes on Banana. Come on, CTs. If you want to retake this bomb site, you're going to have to get a move on. Blade is making a little bit too noise um, for comfort. But no, Z1's going to push the bottom with Banana. Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They're protecting the bomb. Um, yep, easy peasy. Exactly what we expected. Courage are going to run away. All five of them survived. And, well, four CT survived as well. They tried to get in good positions to try and get those exit frags. But unfortunately, Courage were one step ahead of them. And 2-0 uh, is the score here on Inferno. 
So Fnatic sticking with the Deegs and the 5.7s and the P350s, uh, whilst Courage opting to go. Yeah, they're still on SMGs. They haven't bought up AK-47s. They're expecting that Fnatic will stick to their pistols. And uh, whoever's the uh, mind reader in Courage, fair play to him because he's uh, anticipated this round to perfection as they prepare to go all into this bomb site. JW is on the quad and surely he will get dropped. He gets blown to smithereens. And is that going to be one of many kills? Schneider and his teammates rotating back round. And with all the terrorists, oh, they're coming in. Pronax gets one. Simple returns the kill. Three versus three. He's on this bomb site. He has to reload. And he's got Schneider coming his way. Is it going to be Galil versus P250? And the P250's reign supreme. And it is one versus one. It's PP Bison in the hands of Z1. And Z1 makes it 3-0 to the Russians here in round number four. So the T's, they won that round. They can afford to buy up now. They've got a AWP in the hands of Blade. One, two, yeah, I think we're going to see, oh, two AWPs. Or did they swap it round? No, they've got one AWP, four AKs for the terrorists, whilst the CTs, they're on a five um, uh, M4 setup. Of course, a few silenced M4s and a few non-silenced M4s. So where are the T's going? The bomb is second mid, so make of that what you will. And Fnatic have decided to now put two CTs on that B-bomb site. So they're changing it up. They know that the Russians have given them somewhat of a scare so far. So Flusher taking his time. At the moment, the T's, they're making a lot of noise. But it's all going to waste at the moment. They're making sure their presence is heard in second mid. And uh, Auto Director, for some reason, switching to Devil Walk, even though the T's are nowhere near there. Oh, Z1 almost catching a glimpse of one of the CTs in Upper Apps. And here we go, Drani Mo. Is Schneider going to be in the right place at the right time? What are these Russians doing? Oh, they faked the A bomb site. No, they're going back to A. Flipping heck. I mean, if, I'm, if I can see what they're doing and I'm this confused, imagine how confused Fnatic must be right now. Z1 versus JW and Z1 nails him in the head and it is four versus four. Schneider is taking his time and holding this larger A bomb site. Pronax is playing from library. He's going to poke out and he will take down Simple, but Blade gets the return frag and it is three versus two. There's no reason whatsoever. That's why the T's perhaps can't, you know, put this one out of the back. And it's a lovely shot from World Edit. And they're going into this bomb site, but Flusher is yet to be seen. World Edit is caught with his pants down. And surely this is gonna be Fnatic's round. And Flusher confirms that. Picks up an AK for all his hard work. 3-1 the score. Still in favor of the Russians. But hey, there's still a lot of Counter-Strike to be played. So JW opt in for that cheap Mag 7 option and Pronax for the OPP90 that we've all uh, learned to love. They're of course expecting Courage to be on some sort of a deco and that's exactly what they are on. They're pushing up and who's going to get first blood into this round? It's going to be the Russians and uh, the CT despite having that weapon advantage are already one man down. There we go, make that two men down. Good shot from Schneider. And that nade is going to deal a heck of a load of damage. As Z1 gets dropped to 40. Oh, look at this. JW with the knife. And he's going to come from behind now. And JW, surely he ain't going to miss. No, he is. He's down. But three versus two. And it is easy peasy lemon squeezy for Flusher as he flushes courage down the toilet. 3-2 is your score. So Flusher, oh no, he's still got that AK-47 for a sec, I thought he uh, decided to deco. I was wondering to myself, why would you want to do that, Flusher? Why would you want to do that? Especially when you consider the fact that he got a three man in the last round, but he probably could have afforded to buy an AWP for his teammate. Oh no, he didn't buy an AWP for his teammate, didn't he? Need? Guys, I have the flu and it's starting to show. Five versus five still, the bomb is on the back of Blade. World Edit, Prizak and Zed1 just trying to, you know, frighten the CTs at second mid and make a lot of noise. If we take a quick look at the scoreboard, Flusher with eight kills, two deaths for Fnatic, topping the scoreboard for them, followed by Schneider and JW. And World Edit and Z1 are topping the scoreboard for the Russians. So the smokes will get lobbed out towards mid. 
on behalf of the CT defensive smokes, of course. And we can hear AK-47s rattling and Pronax with first blood. And is that going to be one of many? Blade returns the kill. And it's so important to get those quick reverse frags because it evens things out at four versus four. It ensures that your team aren't at a man or two men disadvantage. And here we go. One of the CTs pops out a library and uh, deals a fair amount of damage. Schneider is sat under quad. He's going to take down one and it's... Well, is shooting practice for Schneider. Z1 drops into pit. JW disposes of the goods. And it's going to take somewhat of a miracle from work edit. But guys, you saw him pass the three marks of clutch earlier on in the pistol arm. But it wasn't meant to be this time around. All right, guys. Good news. Chewy is back. So I'll just unmute. Sound microphone activated. Hello, Chewy. Welcome back. Hello, I'm sorry if I interrupted that, and I no apologise for my absence there, guys, but uh, I haven't eaten in 30 hours, and I think that was the quickest portion of uh, sweet and sour chicken that I've ever eaten in my entire life. So I'm back, ready to go, Fanatic vs. Courage. Alright, are you in GoTV, yeah? I'm ready to go. So, are you in GoTV or not? Schneider's gonna get two kills. Let me know whether you're in GoTV or not, Chewy. I'm and fine. You're I'm fine. <laughs> cool. Three man from Schneider. And over to you, Chewy. <laughs> yep, okay. JW manages to pick up the last one. I have been watching from the start. And one play that really stood out for me was that initial pistol round when uh, Courage managed to get onto that B bomb site and then single handedly welded it with the 3K right at the end, managing to defend, making sure that Fnatic weren't gonna be able to get that bomb to fuse. But since then, Fnatic looking strong. They were 3 0 down. 4 3 is the score, though, now. So a strong start coming in from them, as you would expect on the CT side. We're going to see what Courage can do here. Looks like they're going to be making their way down towards Banana, starting to try and get that initial pick. Seeing where they're going to be pushing two on Banana, two in mid at the second. And that already is bad because Blader, uh, I think that's the way you pronounce it, Blade and Simple have been taken down to 25 HP and 19 HP, respectively. They most certainly have. So Devil Walk is holding on the B bomb site, and again Fnatic have opted to go for that two-man CT setup on the B bomb site. Flush has begun rotating round, so it looks like Courage might be trying to fake this. If they are, then fair play to them because they're going to end up hitting the bomb site with one less man. So only time will tell how this will unfold. That's the thing about Inferno, the T's, they take it so slow, but the smokes and flashes are so important. And uh, come on, Courage, where are you going? Pronax has pushed down Banana, and that, guys, is allowing Devil Walk and Flusher to rotate back round. And here we go. Pronax might catch. Oh, good shot. Oh. Simple in the noggin of Pronax, giving Fnatic that one-man lead. And Z1 will prepare to push and go balls deep into this uh, larger A bomb site. Schneider's playing defensive on top of the bomb site. Z1 will drop JW. And is that going to be one of many for the T's? Remember, this is a CT sided map, so any kind of extra round after those pistol rounds will be a miracle for Courage. And Z1 says, I will be that man. But no, there's five seconds left, Chewy. I didn't have my eye on the clock. Oh no, the bomb's gone down on B. The bomb has gone down on B. Who would have guessed it? Well, Auto Director wasn't watching. Thank you, Auto Director. Alright, so yeah. And Courage, Courage <laughs> are making Fnatic look like a bunch of clowns now. It is, let's clear that, it is four versus two. Schneider and Devil Walk have said flipping heck. Who would have thought that would have happened? They're going to hide in apps and we're going to see 4-4. Four, four. Who would have thought that the Russians would have been this dominant so early in the game? Well, very interesting indeed. I did ask a couple of people in the chat before the game started what their predictions was going to be as a uh, Prizak, I think that's the way he's pronounced his name. I do apologise if I get any of these pronunciations wrong with uh, people's names, but again, I'm still learning some of these players. Still very, very new. So we'll see what work we can do. 4-4 four, four is the score, though. Fnatic looking strong, taking four rounds in a row, but Courage, as you did say, managing to get that one, and that was such a great opening pick from Simple, as we spotted, managing to take out Pronax towards Banana there, and it was pretty much uh, almost straightforward from then on. You know, we thought they were going to be starting to push towards A, taking it incredibly slowly, and then they managed to rotate round to B. Great pick coming in as JW takes out Simple. He's not going to be able to get anybody with his ult this time, but well, then it's going to be able to get the revenge kill, taking out Schneider, and now it's a four and four, though Blade does go down, taken out by Pronax. An advantage in favour of Fnatic as the second as JW manages to get another one. Fnatic coming straight back at them though. Although that's a great position. Coming in from underground, taking out JW. So three versus two. Prozrak and Z1 going up against Flusher, Devil Walk and Pronax. And Kai, have I pronounced those names correctly? Yeah, you sound fine. 
<laughs> oh, good. I hope so. I'm always in trouble with my casting for pronouncing people's names wrong, so I hope I haven't in this case. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with when with pronouncing names wrong. What is worse when players don't have their real names? Then it's just a complete yeah. That's complete the call. Yeah. That happened yeah. last time. My first ever game cast in Counter Strike, and uh, they didn't decide to be nice to me with the uh, with the names. I can't remember what team that was now. It was LGB, I think it was. A couple of them decided to change around. But anyway, into the tenth round, five four advantage in favour of Fnatic, as you would expect of a team of this calibre and on the CT side as well. Although Prize Rack is going to be able to pick up a headshot deagle onto Devil Walk, Schneider with one, Flusher with one as well, and Blade is the last one left alive. He's only got a block to his hand. Flusher takes him out in easy fashion. Six four is your score. Only only one man going down for Flusher, which was Devil Walk. See what the buy situation is going to be like here for Courage. It looks like they've got a decent amount of money in the back in some respects, so we'll see what they are going to be able to buy here. We've got a couple of AK 47s in the mix dropping for their friends, of course. And Orbs actually going to come in for Simple. You did great work with it earlier on. Is he going to be able to continue? I'll have to find out here in the 11th round. But having a look at that setup, we've actually got three down there on to B. All of the guys from Courage near their spawn of the second, starting to make their way up second mid. Schneider's going to meet up with some people any minute, so it's going to be interesting to see if the rotation is going to come in. JW in such a great position with this AWP. Is he going to be able to see Zed1? He does spot him, gets the shot with the AWP. That's a great initial pick there. Is Schneider going to be able to pick up a second one? It doesn't look like so at the minute. He's going to back away from that fight and have a look at how quickly that player there. I do believe that's Flusher who's managed to rotate around. Ryzrak is going to meet up with Schneider though in apartments. Takes him down well then. It's going to get JW and this is switching in favour of Courage. Courage look extremely strong as they make their way towards this bomb site. It's Prison versus Flusher, and Flusher flushes Prison down the toilet. But World Edit says no. I will live to fight on for Mother Russia. And as he nails Flusher in the head, Devil Walk and Pronax, they're good. But are they going to be good enough? Simple says no. And it's all down to Devil Walk now. He's making his way around Quad. He's going to lob those grenades forwards. He knows that there's one team in pit, and he's going to spam, but no Devil Walk. You're making too much noise, and he's going to, well, run away. And 6-5, uh, could we have one of the biggest CSGO upsets in modern history on the cards here? I mean, I know there isn't that much at stake, but if Courage managed to get more than five rounds, I'd be worried for Fnatic. I really would. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it seems in recent times, things have kind of been changing up in the Counter-Strike scene. Again, you know, I've only joined recently, as I've mentioned many times now, but, uh, you know, I know about the dominance there between, like, Nip and Titan and, and those kind of squads, and recently there's been some really interesting results. You know, of course, Virtus Pro managing to take EMS1 Katowice, which was a surprise in a lot of people's opinions, and Titan getting knocked out in the group stages was a hell of a surprise. And, uh, you know, there's been some great matches coming in as JW does take out Simple. He's been more dominant in that kind of battle towards that mid area, I would have to say. JW best is the saying as far as I'm aware. So, uh, showing he's still best with that AWP. 6 5 visual score, though. Man advantage in favour of Fnatic in this 12th round. We'll see if Courage are going to be able to make some upsets here. Are you going to call it, or are you just asking the question of whether they're going to be able to do it, Kai Knight? I think they can do it, but they're not going to do it if they keep running into Devil Walk's M4 headshot from him. And Blade's got a cushion in health. He's going to get one, two from Blade. And is he going to live up to that three in his name? He's going to look for Devil Walk. Hat trick from Blade. But unfortunately, he's got five opponents, and there was only so much one man could do. Blade, lovely three man from him. Take nothing away from him. But at the end of the day, the rest of his teammates didn't deliver the goods. And Fnatic win another round. Yep, they do indeed. And guys, I have switched my microphone earlier. I know a couple of people, they may have been trolling, they may have not. They were saying that my microphone wasn't very good quality. So please let me know now if it's any better or any worse, um, and I will try and fix things up. But I have changed over microphones. So if you are wondering why I sound different, it's because I'm uh, now on my headset instead of my blue snowball. But here we go, 30th round, 7-5. Fnatic is going to get the second kill there and the third kill. Blader managed to pick one up with a CZ75 onto Flusher, but Schneider and JW reply pretty much straight away. Schneider's going to get taken down though to 7 HP. JW on 58. Simple is going to be able to pick up one. Oh my gosh, this is looking great coming in here for Courage. They're in a tricky situation earlier on, but now it's only Pronax and Schneider left alive here. 
One is on A, that is going to be Schneider, who's on 7 HP and Pronax right towards Banana, going to be heading up mid in a second. Are they going to be able to close this one out, Courage? We're about to find out. Said one moving around with his AWP, Schneider sitting tight on this A bomb site. He's going to get taken down. That means that they've got that open route onto the site. The bomb's going to go down very quickly. Pronax, he's got that M4A1 in hand. If there's any man who's going to be able to do it, it could be Pronax. He's going to see though, he's going to get spotted. Gets taken down. Simple shoot, shuts him out. 7 6 is your score. That looked really strong there for Courage. They were in a tricky spot at the start of that round, and they showed Courage. That was an awful pun, but uh, yeah, great work coming from them, 7 6. <laughs> well, I'm trying to live up to your pun skills. That's what I'm doing. Pun skills, yeah. Uh, I thought it was good. I laughed. But anyway, 7 6 in favor of the Swedes. That's six rounds for the Russians, six rounds for Mother Russia. And if I was Vladimir uh, Putin right now, I'd be over the moon with this uh, current existing result. So 7 6, and Fnatic, of course, being forced to deco. Z1 is waiting patiently, and his patience pays off. There's the kill onto JW. And of course, we'd really expect to see the game go to 7 7 now. Courage have the weapons. Uh, a box standard anti eco round for them. They're taking their time. They're using their nades very well. And simple. Is he going to catch one of the CTs out? Timo certainly is. Down goes Pronax. And surely Courage have to uh, use this two man advantage um, and make it work in their favour. Yep, they do indeed, and of course Flusher with the Deagle at the second then too. P250, and I think that's a 5-7 that Schneider's got at the bottom there, if I am correct. I apologise if I'm wrong, um, but I believe that's what's in the mix at the second. So we'll have a look. They are starting to push him right now. Schneider's going to meet somebody. Z1 manages to take him out. He's Flusher and Devil Walk on the last two left alive. Flusher in a horrible situation on the A-bomb site. He is going to get taken out any second. He's on 14 HP. Devil Walk's going to try and come round the back. Call some havoc. He's going to be able to get one. He's going to be able to get two. Simple turns on him though. Gets the final kill. Bomb's going to get planted as well. It's all even 7-7 seven, seven here. This is the last round of the half. And, you know, we talked about it earlier with the Hellraisers and Navi game. Who would have thought it? Courage managing to pull out seven rounds here. Potentially eight if they can take this next one. On the T side of Inferno against a squad like Fnatic. And JW has actually pulled out that Mag 7 shotgun. So we'll see if he's going to be able to do some work with that. But a great buy coming in here for Courage. They've got that AWP again once in the hands of Simple. Two AK, sorry, three AK 47s and an M4A1 as well. So let's see what they're going to push. Taking it slow up, second mid at the second. We'll see if they are going to try and make their way up to A in time. And uh, I have a feeling that they can take this one once again. We'll have to see. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, JW has that Mag 7, of course, which probably will work as a disadvantage for Fnatic. But we know how good JW is. It's not something abnormal. We see it from Fnatic quite a lot. And JW just needs to make sure he stays in, in short distance of the T's. He's dealt a lot of damage onto one of the T's, but it's just not enough to send him um, uh, to his deathbed just yet. It's still 5 on 5. And just I say that with 55 seconds as well. 50 seconds and counting and no one is yet to hit the floor. And where are these T's going? They're, uh, well, Blade has the bomb on his back and he's heading towards the A bomb site. No, he's giving it to World Edit now and I think it looks like we might have a fake coming in from the terrorists on the B bomb site. Simple and Blade going there, going around the corner, going to Banana. I think they might throw a few... Sm yeah, there we go. Flashes and smokes going in, which means that Pronax has to stay on this smaller B bomb site, even though the bomb is on the A bomb site. So, here we go. Two T's down, but the bomb is, of course, still making its way towards the A bomb site. And uh, it's probably safe to say, or oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm speaking a little bit too soon. Schneider spots Z1, and it's all down to Mr. Prizak. JW, he dealt damage with that Mag 7 earlier on, and finally puts his name onto a kill. 8-7 in favour of Fnatic, but I don't care what anyone says. Fnatic need to uh, improve their game. They need to step up, because at the moment, it's getting embarrassing. Yeah, it is indeed, and I mean, I can see two people in the chat just joining us, uh, you know, in the last few seconds going, wait, 7-7, seven, seven, T-side Courage, managing to get seven rounds against Fnatic, what is this? And somebody actually said that uh, Fnatic should go and play Tetris instead, yeah, which I did make that. me chuckle, yeah. I will admit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying the coverage that we're bringing you, of course, Fnatic 8-7 up after the first half here on Inferno, and although they do have the round advantage technically, with scores like that on a map like this, that's actually going to play in favour of Courage. We're going to see what the pistol round is going to be like. We always say that the pistol rounds are, you know, an incredibly important element of a game, but I think it's going to be an even more important element here. If Fnatic lose the pistol round, we could see Courage start to walk away with this one. We will have to see, though, anything can happen. We're about to start the second half, though, guys. We hope you enjoy it. 
and see what's going to happen. And uh, I have a feeling that Courage could take this one and start to run away, but we will see indeed. Fnatic are such a resilient squad. We've seen it time and time again from them where they just completely show up when they need to. We'll see if they're going to be able to do that now. Let's have a look where they're going to start to be pushing. Are they going to get as aggressive as Courage did wow. on their T round? And Pistol, we're about to find out. Well, I think Courage have been watching demos of Fnatic because they're blatantly trying to anti-strat them. They've sent not one, but four players over towards this banana area. But Schneider says, I'll take down two of you. And Schneider going big before World Edit blows him to smithereens. But Fnatic are adamant. They want to take this smaller B-bomb site. They know there's a heck of a load of CTs there. JW Best, is he going to live up to the name? Not at the moment. And it is... Two versus one. It's all down to this man right here. Simple. And a few simple shots for him to pull off. Maybe. Maybe not. And Pronax with the headshot. Running backwards but still managing to deliver the goods. 9-7. And that pistol round is crucial for Fnatic when you consider how bad their first half went. Yeah, when you said that this is exactly what they needed to do. They needed to pick up their game and that's what they managed to do. They didn't work for them that first two initial frags from Schneider the first two picks were absolutely crucial in my opinion they really played a big part in that game making sure that they can get on to that uh, a bombs sorry b bomb site as quick as possible but it now looks like they're going to be making their way towards mid world dead oh my gosh jw how did you not just see him he's going to get taken down to 55 hp anyway he's going to be able to pick up one jw finally finishes him off though he spotted him that time taking him down into a four on four situation so he's got two fifty eagles a p2000 in there as well for Courage, but it doesn't look like they're going to be in a great situation at the minute. JW and the rest of the Fnatic squad are starting to make their way in. So Schneider's going to be able to pick up another one, as is JW leaving Prize right. The last one left alive. Schneider's going to finish him off with a headshot. 10 7 is your score. Fnatic into double figures. And once again, you said that they needed to pick up their game. They've got that three round advantage. Doesn't look like the guys from Courage are going to force buy anything up at the second. They're just going to eco it out and make sure that they can get a full buy in the uh, 19th round. So here we go. Round number 18. Let's see what Fnatic do. Whether they're going to be slowly going for those picks. Whether they're going to be playing it aggressively again. Knowing that Courage are on that eco. We're about to find out. We are indeed. So Courage, they are still on the deco. We've got a few P250s, a 5.7 here and there, and Simple opting to stick to his uh, very simple silenced USP. JW catches a glimpse of one of the CTs, but he is going to run back and hide, and Fnatic are moving ever so closer towards his B bomb site, but they have left a bomb at the bottom of Banana, so are they going to go all in? Only time will tell. Z1 pops out, but Pronax disposes of him and carries on running back towards Banana. Are they going to pick up the bomb? Come on, Fnatic. To win the round, you need the bomb. Unless you eliminate all the CTs, of course. Just realise how dumb that was. What I did. <laughs> Dear me. So, five versus three. Will that is still on the uh, A-bomb site. And, well, flush it with a headshot. It's box standard stuff for Fnatic. They do this in their sleep. And surely yeah. we're going to have another set. Yep, and uh, I do apologise if my voice is a bit raspy, guys. I've uh, been struggling, as is Kana as well. We're both not well, boys, but we're still enjoying bringing you all the Counter-Strike footage this evening. Lots of games already uh, in the evening and lots of games to come as well. But World Edit, last one after live in a 1 versus 5. Nobody going down yet. It looks like Pronax is going to be able to finish him off. No, he's not. Well, that it does prove me wrong. Managed to pick up one. He's on 17 HP, though. That's going to be Devil Walk taking him out. 11-7 it is. Let's see what Courage can do now. They are going to be able to buy it. Having a look at their money situation. We'll see what they are going to buy. See what's going to happen. But Fnatic have got to be happy with these first three rounds of this T side. You said that they didn't have the greatest CT side. But they've proved their resilience. They've proved that they can still come out and show their dominance in the first three rounds of the T side. Let's see if they can uh, keep up that magic now. As we do see for the first time in the second half, Courage with a full buy. They've got an AWP in there. That's going to be simple once again, as you would expect, buying that AWP. Let's see what, what they can do. Yeah, of course, Fnatic, obviously, they were at Katowice. They're a lot more experienced than Courage, and they need to put that experience into uh, use. But Simple says no. He shuts down one. And is that going to be one of many? World Edit is sat in pit, and Fnatic, this is where their experience really has to come into action. They are a man down. They're two men down now, and Courage are going full deep into this bomb site. But JW returns the kill. Simple from behind, keeping things nice and simple. And Devil Walk is all by himself. He can hear CTs approaching him from left, right, and center. He's looking for them. And surely World Edit will finish him off. He does. 11-8 is your score. 
Yep, 11-8. It is indeed. And I actually was, you know, just hearing shots going down then. Of course, Simple did have that AWP, and I think he got confused by the smoke because two players ran round, round, uh, round, sorry, ran round, I can't even talk right now, uh, ran round the back of the A bomb site there, and then Simple missed a couple of shots, but he did finish him up with his pistol, but still a strong defensive round coming in there from Courage. So we'll see what, what they are going to be able to do. Prize Rack making his way on to the uh, B bomb site the second he's got that. Uh, Incendiary grenade in hand if he does need at any point to try and slow down any pushes coming in from Fnatic. And it looks like they've got that bomb in mid at the second. One player, which is actually going to be Devil Walk, making his way up to apartments. There's a couple in Banana. So a slow round, as you would expect on the T side of Inferno, coming in from Fnatic. This could be quite an important round for them. See what's going to happen. Another full buy, of course, coming in. Got a couple of AK-47s in the mix for the CT side of Courage. Still no picks, though, with one minute left on the clock. Yeah, a team is a lot more than just five men who can run around on Counter-Strike and pop heads. They need to have character. And this is where we need to see Fnatic's experience and character really shine. Because they lost that previous round and they need to make sure they do not give up. They need to make sure they remain determined. Courage, on the other hand, need to make sure they don't become complacent. Because we're approaching the 40 minute mark, the 40 second mark, sorry. And it is 4 versus 4, courtesy of a lovely AK-47 headshot from Simple. Now, pretty much all the Fnatic Swedish players are heading in towards this B-bomb site as the Choo Choo Fnatic train slowly tiptoes uh, into the bomb site. They're looking left, they're looking right. Blade is lurking somewhere in and around behind this fountain. And Blade will pop out. Hello! He's going to get one, but they know he's there and they will sh shut him down. Simple with two. He's going to come round the corner and it's three versus one. It's Flusher versus the world. And despite pulling off the headshot, it was too much to ask of him. 11-9, and my, uh, you can tell I have the flu, my uh, voice is not <laughs> working there for a second. It's all good, it's all good. We're still carrying on for you guys enjoying this game. We've seen a close game earlier on, 16-12, with an 11-1 second half in favour of Hellraisers earlier on. On Mirage, and now we're 11-5, 11-9, sorry, in favour of Fnatic here. But they are on the T side, and they are actually having to eco at the second as Simple gets a shot onto JW. They're shutting him down right off the start. Great work there from Simple with that AWP. He's impressed me so far, I will have to admit. So we'll see if they can keep this up. Looks like they are going to be able to make it 11-10. Are Fnatic going to be able to close out on the T side here? Courage had a great T side earlier on, managing to get seven rounds before the half ended. Simple once again just make his way. That's his second frag of the round. Oh my gosh, three coming in there for Simple. Great work. He is going to get flashed. He's going to back away from that. Going to move towards the back of the map. He's going to see another one. That's four for Simple. Is he going to get the ace? Come on, let him have the ace. Let's see. Oh my gosh, misses the shot on the flash there. Going oh for the ace comes in for Simple. All with the AWP. Telling Fnatic to go away, sit down, think about your strategies, and uh, come back again in a, in a few, because uh, that was just phenomenal work there from Simple. Simple, making it look simple. Sorry, that was so poor. That was, that was, that was such We're a on bad it with pun. the puns tonight. We're, we're really like, making our way with these. I don't know what's going on tonight. Uh, do I. It must be something to do with being ill. Uh, yes, yeah. that's obviously it. That's a great excuse. Yeah, I like that. Is. Anyways, so uh, both teams are on a full buy pretty much. We haven't seen really Fnatic AWP to, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Opt to AWP um, <laughs> on this T side Inferno. So let's wait and see if they can finally get round number 12 on the board or not. Their uh, trusty Russian AK-47, but Courage being Russian, they'll know how to counter those Kalashnikov 47s. And the team makes a heck of a load of noise here at mid. The flashes are going to go over. I think they'll need a few more smokes and hello, Flusher's at the top of Banana, the bomb's at the bottom of Banana, and maybe Fnatic are trying to, you know, reinvent the wheel with some sort of fake here, but Simple, he's in the same position, and no, over to you Chewy, what do you think? I mean, I don't know. It's an interesting push. It looks like the bomb's actually going to be going towards Banana. That's the sixth kill in a row. Is it going to be the seventh? Yes, it is. He's oh, please don't do this. Oh, my gosh. Snyder finally manages to shut him out after Simple got seven kills in a row with the AWP. Uncontested day. Finally gets taken down. Devil Walk and JW going down. And it's a 4v3 advantage in favour of Courage here. They are really, really impressing me so far from what I can see. And Fnatic just aren't showing up as you maybe expect them to do. Great spray down coming from Schneider, getting the headshot onto Well Edit, showing his gun skill in full fashion. Blader though on this B-bomb site. The second looks like the bomb's going to get planted unless Blader can try and come in here. A couple of bullets of damage getting taken into that bomb plant though. The second, oh, this is looking good for um, the guys in Fnatic now. They've managed to turn the situation around completely, leaving Zed one, the last one left alive against Flusher and Pronax. And of course that bomb has been planted as well. He's being spotted. 
coming from CT. Let's see if he's going to be able to take anything from here. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to. He's in such a tricky situation. Flusher is just teasing him right now with his AK-47. He's going to peek in a second. He's happy to just completely leave him. He's going to challenge him maybe in a second. We're going to let that bomb blow up. Doesn't really matter either way. There we go. Gets the headshot. And that's going to be it as the bomb is going to blow up. They are going to die from that, unfortunately. Oh, no, maybe they're not. The bomb just just managed to let them uh, escape before it decided to blow up as the round ended. You see, I was talking about the bags of experience Fnatic have under their belt, and we well and truly saw that experience shine in that previous round. They went two men down, but their heads didn't go down. They carried on. They found um, a disadvantage in the Courage setup. They hit that disadvantage. They forced Courage into making a mistake. And you know when they had that bomb down, they played that to perfection. Flusher could have easily peeked, but he said, no, I'm going to stay hiding. We need this round. Fnatic, we're, Fnatic are a massive name in the world of CS. And for them to lose against Courage, no offense to Courage, would be devastating. So here we go. Courage all lurking and looking strong. And Fnatic once again finding themselves in the same scenario that they found themselves yesterday. See you later, World Edit. Blown to smithereens by Schneider. And Schneider evens things out. And this quality, this experience is shining through. But the commentator's curse sees Z1 drop Thronax. And oh my word. Two versus one. It's Courage versus Fnatic. And it's Prizak versus Schneider. And Mother Russia are in with a shout. It's 12-11. And Chewy, I think I want to rip my hair out. What are Fnatic doing wrong? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's the curse of Huey because things are pretty crazy. Like, and maybe it's just me and and my casting that's like making things a bit more interesting. We'll blame it on that because this is the thing. When I've been casting, like, I kind of have a hashtag and it's just hashtag blame Chewy. So I think that's going to have to come into play with Counter Strike here because a lot of people predicted Navi, then as suddenly you know everybody was like, oh no, it's the commentator's fault. That's why. It's because of them that uh, Navi lost that game against Hellraiser. So maybe it's our fault here that Fnatic aren't playing very well. I'm only kidding, of course. But they are on to a, a force buy with just, well, not even a force buy, a Deagle, um, a couple of P250s in there and a CZ75. So uh, an eco with just a couple of buys in there and uh, one flash grenade actually in the hands of Flusher at the second. So it'll be interesting to see how they play this. Of course, Flusher starting to make his way towards B here. He's made his way completely uncontested towards Banana and um, towards B. Sorry, yeah, through Banana. As soon as I say that, somebody's going to maybe spot him. They're taking this so slowly, completely quiet, walking the entire way. Let's see if they can start to make a move. A couple of seconds. Courage. Oh, no, there, there, there we go. Flash is starting to come in. Blade with the first kill onto Schneider. Now the squad who is over onto A. That's going to be, uh, oh, I can't remember which player is actually over onto A. But got a difficult situation on their hand. Flusher and JW managed to take them out. And all of a sudden, Fnatic in a great position. Yeah, if they can get this bomb down, they're guaranteed at least a bomb plant money for next round. And JW, he's picked up one of the M4s off one of those dead CTs. And Flusher may play it calm. No, Flusher, oh. he did not have to peek. But JW, is he going to save the day? He's not. And guys, it is 12-12. And I cannot believe what we're seeing here. No. No, I cannot either. But I mean, still, as you said, you know, like Fnatic kind of did the best that they could in that situation, although they didn't manage to close out the round. It was certainly a close one. They got, you know, a couple of frags managing to take down three of Courage there, and they did get the bomb plant as you spotted as well. So I'm not sure which players rotated over from there. I didn't spot that in time, unfortunately. Still getting used to the kind of... Uh, the, the mode which we commentate on in Counter-Strike. I'm used to other things with the other games that I commentate every now and again. And uh, so, yeah, but great rotation all the same coming in, managing to take out the rest of the players left on that B-bomb site. And here we go. This is crucial for Fnatic now. I believe that they need to take this round. Otherwise, Courage could run away with this one. We talked about their resilience. They're, uh, they're great, you know, play and, and the, the experience that they've had in this community and that's really going to play something if they want to take this but you know talking on that level Fnatic shouldn't be having to worry about things like that against a squad like Courage nothing against Courage they've played phenomenally but you know in a match like this you would expect them to almost walk in Blade is going to get the initial pick there onto Flusher Prince Rack is on the side he's going to be able to pick up a couple no he's not he doesn't even get one which means now that the guys from Fnatic have got that easy sight on to B, they are going to get the bomb down, and now it's going to have to be in the hands of World Edit Simple and Z1 to try and take it. JW is going to find one. That leaves Simple, the last one left alive. Is he going to save his ult? What's he going to do? We're about to find out. He's going to be able to find one. That's JW getting taken down, but he's still on a one versus three, and the bomb's planted. Right, guys, just to uh, uh, make you aware of what's going on, we know there is lag. Blame Virgin Media, and I'm going to restart this, the.